Hello everyone, this is Rabius Blog, and welcome to another Movie News Roundup series. So there's quite a bit of movie news going on this week, but before we get into that, here are a few words from the channel. Alright everybody, it's time to get on the social media train. Want to chat with me in 100 words or less? Then check out my Twitter account. Want to talk about movies, TV shows, and video games within the group? Then check out my Facebook account. Want to check out some of my ultra cool fan art? Then check out my DeviantArt page. Want to get the lowdown on everything that's happening on this channel? Then check all of the above. And now, we return to our regularly scheduled program. So the first bit of news is that Hocus Pocus 2 has been announced to be released on Disney Plus in 2022. With the return of Bette Midler, Kathy Najimy, and Sarah Jessica Parker. The second bit of news is that CW's live-action Powerpuff Girls series is going to have their pilot episode reworked due to the CW not being satisfied with how the pilot episode turned out. And the last bit of news is that Sonic Central had just premiered on YouTube last week and Sega had announced several future projects for the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. Now it's time for Thoughts for the Day where I talk about my thoughts on this week's movie news. So let's get started. So regarding Hocus Pocus 2 premiere on Disney Plus in 2022, I'm actually glad that this is finally coming to fruition. Like for many years there was talks about making a sequel to Hocus Pocus, but the sequel never really came. The closest we ever had to a sequel to Hocus Pocus was this little book that was sort of like a direct sequel to Hocus Pocus. So now that there's an official sequel to Hocus Pocus, I guess that book is now not canon to Hocus Pocus. But anyway, it's great that we're having Hocus Pocus 2 because I felt like the first movie did leave off on a bit of a cliffhanger. And I'm glad that we're finally having a sequel that's able to tie up that cliffhanger. And it's fantastic seeing the return of Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy Najimy reprise their roles as the Sanderson sisters. So I'm definitely looking forward to Hocus Pocus 2, and I hope it's as good as the first movie. So regarding the second bit of news about the CW pulling the Powerpuff Girls pilot episode and asking the creators to rework the pilot episode, I was a bit shocked at this because this is like the first time I heard of a TV series actually having their pilot episode being taken out and having it being reworked. So I was wondering to myself, what was so bad about that script that made CW pull the pilot episode and ask the creators to rework that pilot episode? Well, I look at some bits of the script from the pilot episode and I have to say it wasn't that good. So I'm going to give you a brief rundown about the parts I've read of the script. Like I didn't read the whole script of the pilot episode, but I did read parts of the script and this is what I've read so far. So basically what the script I've read so far is that it basically has the Powerpuff Girls talking about sex the whole time. Like you have Blossom and Bubbles talking about having sex and then you have Buttercup having sex herself with somebody else. And they did briefly mention about Mojo Jojo being killed by Blossom, but that's about it. That's all this pilot episode is really about. It's just about the girls talking about sex. And I could definitely see why the CW wanted to pull this pilot episode. Because if this is all we're going to get from the pilot episode, then I don't think the show is going to do that well. Like one of the most interesting things about the premise of the show is that it's supposed to be about the Powerpuff Girls being cynical because they've been fighting against supervillains for so many years and they just basically lost their childhood because of that. And I was hoping that the pilot episode would explore that, like how the Powerpuff Girls got to this point in their lives where they become so cynical and whether or not they're still fighting supervillains on a day-to-day -day basis despite the fact that they've become more cynical. And I do like the idea about Blossom possibly killing Mojo Jojo because that's a really interesting idea and I wanted to see how that fallout affected Blossom personally and how it affected the Powerpuff Girls and I felt like this pilot episode didn't really explain all that. The fact that it's just talking about sex was probably the worst thing you could have done for the show so I'm glad that the CW pulled the pilot episode and asked the creators to rework the pilot episode and make it a little better. So I'm hoping that the pilot episode becomes better because I do want to see this more cynical look on the Powerpuff Girls and I want to see how this world is being established and why the Powerpuff Girls are cynical as they are. Are. And then the last bit of news is about Sonic Central. Like Sonic Central was basically this virtual event that Sega had where they announced to the viewers about some future projects they have for the Sonic the Hedgehog.
Hedgehog franchise, and it includes some merchandising for Sonic the Hedgehog, like new keychains and stuff like that. It also mentions about an orchestra where the orchestra is going to play all the songs from Sonic the Hedgehog franchise, which I found really interesting that there's going to be an orchestral sounding soundtrack for the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. And another thing they mentioned is that Sonic Colors Ultimate is coming. So that's like the remastered version of Sonic Colors. And also we finally get a new Sonic the Hedgehog game. So I watched Sonic Central and I thought it was okay. Like I felt like they could explain a little more about some of the things they were doing for Sonic the Hedgehog in the near future. And they did mention that they were going to keep on dropping news about the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise during this year, which I hope they do that. But we finally got some news from Sega about where Sonic the Hedgehog is going in the near future after months of Sega not really telling us anything. And some of the things I was interested in was the Sonic Colors Ultimate Edition. And I was actually surprised that Sonic Colors was getting remastered. Like I was thinking that maybe they were going to remaster the Sonic Adventure series. That's what I was hoping because I love the Sonic Adventure series. And I feel like that series is like one of the best games from the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise in my personal opinion. But anyway... I did find it a little odd that they were going to remaster Sonic Colors, but at the same time, that was the highest rated game for the last decade. So I can understand Sega wanted to bring back Sonic Colors and remastering it. And to be honest, I never played Sonic Colors, so I don't know much about that game. All I know is that that game was highly praised, so I can't wait to play that game and see what the remastered version would be like. Like hopefully they add in Tails as a playable character or they add in more levels or something like that. So I like to see what this remastered version of Sonic Colors Ultimate is going to be like. Now I was a bit shocked that they didn't mention anything about the IDW comics because it was mentioned before that the IDW comics had something special planned for Sonic's 30th anniversary. And I just find it kind of weird that Sega didn't mention the IDW comics despite the fact that they have more control over the IDW comics than they did with the Archie comics. So I was a bit shocked about there being no announcements about the IDW comics. But I wasn't that surprised that there was no announcements about the movie sequel. Because that's Paramount's call. So they're the ones who decide when we're going to release this trailer for the Sonic movie sequel. So I am waiting to see what the Sonic movie sequel is going to look like. And I can't wait for that trailer to come out soon. There is this thing about the Sonic movie where if you pre-order Sonic Colors Ultimate, you get a keychain of Baby Sonic. But that's the only Sonic movie thing that was related to this whole announcement but yeah I'm still looking forward to the Sonic movie sequel and I hope we get a trailer of it soon and then the last thing I want to talk about is the newest Sonic the Hedgehog game finally we get a new Sonic the Hedgehog game after all these years like it's been four years since we last had a Sonic the Hedgehog game like the last Sonic the Hedgehog game we had was Sonic Forces and let's just say it wasn't that good so I'm hoping that the next new Sonic the Hedgehog game is going to be better and I will make a video about this in the near future about my expectations and my concerns for Sonic Rangers. Oh yes! Did I mention that the title of this new game is going to be Sonic Rangers? Like Sega accidentally leaked that out even though it wasn't shown in the trailer. So that's pretty interesting that it's going to be called Sonic Rangers. And i like to see what this game is going to be about. But again I'll go more into detail with that once I do a separate video about my expectations and my concerns about Sonic Rangers. So that's the movie news for this week and tell me in the comments down below. What do you guys think about this week's movie news? Are you excited for Hocus Pocus 2? What do you think about the leaked script for the pilot episode of the live action Powerpuff Girls? Do you think it was horrible? Do you think that the CW made a right call into pulling that pilot episode and reworking it? And what are your thoughts about Sonic Central? Do you think that the event did a good job at explaining about all the things that's going on with the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise in the future? Or do you think that they could have shown a little more with the new game? Please feel free to tell me in the comments down below. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Robbie's blog and I'll see you guys later.